Hello and welcome to another episode of the Glam Life brought to you by the Aussie Star Channel. And today, once again, I'm at the Melbourne College of Hair and Beauty and we're talking all about makeup. Now, with me today, I've got Andrea Smith, who's actually the winner of Miss Transsexual Australia 2016. And we've got Vera, who's actually the makeup artist who's actually going to make her up. So let's have a look at what's going on today. Please follow me. So, Vera, how are you? Good, great. Thank you. That's great, thank you. So what's going on here? Oh, we are doing a glamour makeup mm -hmm. and it's kind of editorial. Yep. So we are going to do a glitter blue mm -hmm. shadow. Fantastic. So eyeliner for her. Fantastic. And I think it's very you, Andrea, because you are actually a beauty queen. You're very seasoned on the catwalk in beauty pageants. In fact, you've actually just represented Australia in Barcelona, was it? Yep. How was that experience, Andrea? But it's a great experience for us because uh, it's been the first time that we sent representative for Australia and I met lots of friends in the Latino world because most of the candidates are from Latin America and it was a great experience at all. Fantastic. And did you actually bring back with you some of the experiences that you faced in um, Barcelona? Yes, I have some fun memories with the girls learning their different life stories and experiences being a trans woman and that makes me close to them because knowing them one by one um, give me an impression that yeah knowing them as a person that's great so Vera can you actually tell me why are you actually using blue on Andrea today uh, is there a specific reason yeah because she's wearing very nice short yeah and she's covered up right now yeah. and we'll have the final review yeah. after yeah mm -hmm. great okay mm -hmm. So let's start. So um, can you actually also tell our home viewers um, what should they actually uh, be aware of? Is there anything that they should be um, knowledgeable about before they start their makeup? Because yeah. I strongly believe that different people have different skin yeah. um, textures. Yeah. Am I correct? Yes, correct. Um, I'm using the Krylon HD primer for her to moisturize her skin to give her very good foundation. Yeah. And then I'm putting on the Krylon foundation mixed with a little bit of um, Maybelline to um, the foundation make it, the skin not like too dry to make it a little bit uh, like gloss uh, kind of dewy. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm using this. This is Mac glitter. And I'm gonna just using a little, a little bit shine media to mix it to make it more like a like a metallic kind of look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how long do you reckon the entire process is going to be? Um, it's usually like 45 minutes. But wow, that sounds like a lot of stuff <laughs> going on you, Andrea, and it's only 45 minutes. Yeah. So I see you've got the uh, metallic yeah. plate. What do you call that? Um, just a metallic plate. plate. Okay, because when I actually apply my makeup, I put it on the palm of my hand. Yeah, it's true. Is that correct as well? Um, yeah, yeah, because I think that's what you prefer, but we've been, we've been taught to using this. Fantastic. For, for hygiene reasons. Ah, that's right, because she can't put it on her hands yes. to apply it to your face. Yes. That makes a lot of sense. Just in case got like a course no. Contraindications and infections. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But is it all right if viewers at home know that they can actually apply on their own hands? Yeah. If that's okay. Yeah. Of yeah. Okay. And like, because all, um, the always the, the body temperature give a very good moisturized. It's easy to oh. apply. For me myself, I love to using my fingers to do doing my makeup. and not using a brush. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's a great tip. Did you know that, Andrea? <laughs> no. I think, sometimes I use my fingers. Oh, okay. So that's what you call the primer. Yeah. And um, does that moisturize the skin yes. as well? Okay, yeah. And always remember to keep your eyes closed because we don't want products going into the eyes. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. 
How are you feeling, Andrea? I'm just relaxed. Yeah, I think you're probably used to it, isn't it? <laughs> You've been on multiple and numerous beauty pageants and fashion catwalk shows and all of that. So, do you actually um, do your own makeup or does the makeup artist uh, do it for you? If I'm doing competition, I always have makeup artists with me. Yeah. But it's just for like guesting or like daily activities, I normally do my own makeup. Right. You know what, I'm so proud of you, Andrea, because I don't see many beauty queens out there who are actually confident, uh, you know, in showing up with their bare face. So I see, Vera, that you're applying the um, foundation right now and to the T-zone, is that what you call it? The T-zone? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a specific reason why we should actually um, start with the T-zone? Um, because that's the area it's easy to get oily. Ah. Uh. Right. Tell me if I'm doing my makeup right. So, I cleanse my face, I moisturize it, and then I apply the primer. And then, yes, it's a very long process. And I apply the um, foundation, followed by the concealer, and then loose powder over it. And then I start contouring. Is that correct? Um. Is that step correct? Usually it's contour before the loss powder. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. You don't have to cover all face. Yeah. You can just cover like, for example, if you're getting like T-zone very oily easily, yeah. you just like slightly do on that. You don't have to cover all face. Right. Yeah. Okay. And we're talking about the foundation, no, yeah? No, I mean like a loose powder. The loose powder. Okay, cool. So loose powder, remember guys at home, you don't need to apply on every part of your face, just the T-zone. And the, no, 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 it's, it just depends what you... Oh, it really depends. If you're going to on TV or like yeah. photo shoot, of, of course you're going to be on all face. But all, um, like daily, mm -hmm. you can just apply it. Okay, fantastic. Because for, for me, I think it's been new to breathe. Mm -hmm. So, it's uh, the powder kind of covers the skin. So yeah. It, it always just my skin, it always gave, gave me rushes. If I wow, thank you. Do you reckon the product choice that home viewers actually use will affect the um, skin condition? For example, if they use a certain brand and then they might have allergic reaction to yeah, that yeah. one and then they, they would have to change brands? Yeah, it could be. Is that normal? I think it is, depends. Like everyone's skin condition is different. Yeah. And even for me, for like one person, yeah. different season, the, the skin Different. That's right. Like, yeah. Okay, different seasons as well. Yeah. What about you, Andrea? Do you actually modify the choice of your makeup product according to the seasons that we have in Melbourne? Normally, I normally use Japanese product. I'm not, yeah. I'm not a racist. So I'm just, I'm just, I just love the Japanese product. Normally, I normally use the Michiyushi. Yeah. Um, that's the and that works for you. That's the cake foundation that I normally use. Yeah. For fashion at the same time for my. Mm -hmm. Um, if I have, um, with my daily use, I normally use the MAC powder. Okay. The MAC, yeah, I was, mm -hmm. um, SPF. Yeah, with SPF. That's right, and that's very important, guys, at home. Always use SPF because it protects your skin against skin cancer, especially, you know, in Australia, we've got this um, problem. Um, so Vera is currently applying to the under eye area for Andrea. And you're still on the foundation, yeah? Uh, yeah. I'm just using the, this leftover foundation. Yeah. Because um, for the glitter, it's really easy to fall down, so we need to maybe to clean it and add another, another layer on it. Sweet. I don't want it to be up too thick now, yeah. so because it's layering up, mm -hmm. so maybe it's going to be very thick after if I do too much. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Would you say, Vera, that brushes are very important when you apply makeup? Um, yeah, it depends what kind of makeup. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also to, for the for professional purpose, yeah. um, it's kind of easier to, for, apply. to apply. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but still, um, when you apply like shimmery, like glitter or something, mm -hmm. I find it's easier to apply the finger. With the finger, okay. The, the fingernails kind of wow. in the 
the texture okay to, to be able to get on like the easy okay so finger guys not brushes if you are applying the glitter according to the expert so what's the difference between using the powder for drawing in the eyebrows mm -hmm. than with somebody using the eye pencil uh, oh. eyebrow pencil I should say it's um it's kind of same thing but for me it's uh, more like very soft no. Okay, it will give you a softer look. Yeah. Okay. Mm. With the pencils, you have more edge look. Yeah. Okay. It's funny, isn't it, guys? Yeah. Like right now, we want to have a, you know, more natural look, you know. But yeah. in fact, it's like, does she have makeup on? Does she? Yeah. Like, doesn't have makeup yeah. on. Is she natural? Is she not natural? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big trend now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm just going to go um, focus on the eye first and then going back to the eyebrow if I can. Because um, after seeing the glitter and eyeliner apply on, I need to, I'm going to know like uh, if I'm going to be a strong eyebrow or like. Okay. And then you would adjust the look yeah. in accordance to yes. how the eye comes out. Fantastic. And also someone prefers to do the eye. You've got very nice eyes, Andrea. So I think anything goes for you, you know. You can do your eyes last, you can do your eyes first. You would still look fabulous. So Andrea, tell us more about what's uh, on the cards for you for next year. Are you going to participate in more beauty pageants? Are you going to make Australia ever more proud? <laughs> I know you have actually brought us on the international stage for the recent show, uh, the recent pageant. Anything line up for you next year? Maybe you want to share with us? Well, actually this coming weekend, um, I've been the stage director for the Philippine Fiesta. It will be held in Polish um, Hall Albion. And then on December 2 is the Grand Coronation for the Mrs. Philippine Fiesta Victoria Quest. So I'm the director and the choreographer for that event. And wow. Next year, January 6th, is the search for international kids. I'm the director and choreographer at the same time and doing the catwalk wow. training for the kids. Yeah. And whoever win that competition, we will send them internationally in Thailand, Philippines, and Myanmar, and in India also. Yeah. So... Next year will be a lineup of activities and lineup of passions and coaching. Wow, that sounds like you've already got your hands full, Andrea. How do you cope? Well, I'm just enjoying my time. Mm. And if I have some rest day, just chilling at home yep. and meeting some friends, having some coffee. Coffee yeah. is my <laughs> your thing. <laughs> it's my thing. gets you going. Yeah. Um, do you work with certain charities, uh, certain organizations? I'm with the Victoria Secret Promotion, which is um, the um, head organization of Miss Yen Miss Transsexual Australia, which um, Geisha Deivau is our CEO. And I'm working with the Face Australia as a pageant coach, so I'm merely with Face, Face Australia for the catwalk training for the girls and the kids. Okay, so you are a pageant coach, you are director, stage director, you are... You are multi-hyphenate. I'm just so generic, I'm just um, enjoying my passion. Um, empowering kids and empowering individuals is my really my passion, like pageant coaching for girls training how to walk and be themselves and yeah, yeah how and I to think, project. And I think it's very important today, isn't it? Like a lot of people have a sore lack of self-confidence, you know, yeah. and it's great that people like you are actually going out there using your passion to change the world. That's beautiful, Andrea. Yeah, because um, our young kids are our future generation, so we have to mold them as, as young as they are. Yeah. Giving them the boss to be themselves and, yeah, inspire others as well. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Vera? You're very pretty. Have you thought about participating in a beauty pageant? No, I'm too shy for that. Oh, why are you shy? So you're somebody that prefers to work behind the scenes. Yeah. And that's your course, isn't it? Yes. You're currently doing your diploma. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. And um, what's the name of the diploma? Uh, it's um, diploma in the makeup. Makeup. Yeah. In makeup. Okay. Yeah. So how are you enjoying your course? Oh, it's good. Okay. And how long does it go on for? Um, for like thirteen months. 13? And we, wow. we learn loads of things. Wow. Including the special effects. Special effects. Which do the next. Okay, yeah. your next so module. Like a bruise or like a aliens or like Halloween kind ah, of Ah, okay. It'll be fun. So the next time I might meet you would be in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? It would be so surreal when we actually next meet each other up we're in a different place and at a different time you know you know what andrea i was at, because i'm currently filming a um tv series for a major australian network and it was so surreal because i met this person last year early last year um on a show that i did for the sbs and when I turned my head and I saw, I saw Maurice, you know, on set with me as well. How surreal is that? Yeah. Well, in the industry, you find a lot of interesting people mm. and inspiring people. So, what do you expect? Yeah, that's right. Well. Just enjoy the moment. Mm. Great words from the beauty queen, Andrea Smith. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, darling. Thank you. But while you're actually rubbing against the skin, does it remove any foundation that you have actually applied before? Um, if you're getting too heavy hand mm -hmm. in moist. So just be gentle, gentle and just dab it. So Andrew just asked a makeup artist if it serves as a paste. What does that mean? Just take the glitter. Oh, yeah. okay. It's so you're going to apply glitter. That's a paste. Okay, so we're gonna give Andrea a more dramatic look with glitter. Okay, cool. So tell me, when we actually apply makeup, do we actually apply and then we go along and modify the look or is everything planned beforehand? Like you've got to get the image in your mind like, okay, I would like to achieve this sort of look and therefore I need to do that. So which is um, better? Um, it's, I think it's easier for you to look at the image online mm -hmm. to give you like idea mm -hmm. because you can have lots of loads of ideas yeah. and inspirations yeah. and you have to come to one solution yeah so the images online like a, like make sure what direction you okay. going yeah. and what certain things yeah. do yeah. helps you to, okay. to finalize that okay good yeah and that I reckon would also depend on the hairstyle that you're going to have on that day yes. and the dress. Okay, yeah, yeah. And location as well. Okay, yeah, um, the venue of the event. Yes. We don't want Andrea to look like this and then when she's going into KFC or Maccas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, yeah? Maybe you, you know, you go there and just rock it, babe. <laughs> If you're making using fingers, mm -hmm. you have to clean your hands. Oh, okay, yeah. Always. To prevent cross infections. Yeah. And it's I think it's just a basic hygiene actually. And clean your brushes, that's it. Yeah. Oh talking about brushes, how often should they be cleaned, Vera, and how do we do that? For use. After per use you use ninety nine percent alcohol to clean it to per spray. use. Wow. Clean it and like every week you do with a shampoo or like a soap yeah. to, to actually clean the brush. Okay, my makeup brushes have started shedding. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Do I th toss them out? Do I buy new brushes? Just buy new ones. Just buy new ones? Mm -hmm. But mine are all Chanel. <laughs> That's the solution. Just toss them out and buy new ones. Wow, okay. So as we can see right now, Vera is actually using her fingers to dab the glitter onto Andrea's um, eyelids to give her more glamorous look that actually accentuates the dress that she's wearing today. 
so um, Vera, what brand are you um, currently using on um, Android? Is there a specific brand or do you do a, a combination? Which one? I, I do a combination. Okay, yep. Yeah. I see a lot of makeup artists, they actually use a combination as well. Yeah. Is there a reason why? Um, depends what kind of look you do. Okay. And also, um, like, um, I think everyone has like preferred for that yeah. to use yeah so and and also because some product from uh, brand a for example yeah. would be um, best for yeah, yeah. foundation yeah. and then from yeah. brand b would be better for yeah. the eyes or the yeah. lips because mm. every, every formula is slightly different okay yeah you know what, I've actually observed that you've got a cape on Andrea and I think it's a great um, it's a great thing to do actually. Yeah. yeah. So where do you, where can actually home viewers purchase this one? Uh, this I got from Priceline. From Priceline? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Here at Aussie Star Channel we don't endorse any brands, but so this is just an opinion by the makeup artist and a suggestion. So Vera, where's the best place to purchase uh, makeup uh, materials? for makeup application like the sponge the um, brushes and online okay yeah and that's easiest I got this from Daiso from Daiso yep yeah. it's good oh. I always bought some from Daiso especially okay. the, the brow pencil yeah I always get from them and with the sponges mm -hmm. okay and they have a good quality of lashes also I oh, Daiso okay yeah. cool you know what you've got to take me there doll <laughs> yeah, but our days here in the show is different from the days so in Japan. Oh, so you're yeah. talking about, okay, so do you fly to Japan very frequently to do your shopping? No, I was just recently been there. Yeah. The World Tourism Festival. Yeah. So since I was there, so I don't miss the chance to get all these Japanese products. Okay, so what is the World uh, Tourism Festival? Would you like to tell us more about it? Yeah, it was a pageant for, um, teenagers and kids to help them find themselves and boost their confidence and it's represented from different countries in the world and luckily as a mentor we bagged two crowns wow congratulations thank you and these kids will um flying to philippines to hand over their crown wow so okay. we will be expecting more yeah kids from australia yeah to compete in this field of competition. Good job, guys. I think this look is really, really great for you, Andrea, because right now, as we're filming, is actually during the day, and it doesn't look like a night makeup, and it doesn't look too soft like a day makeup as well. I think it's a little bit like in between, yep. And so it, it will actually suit. So Vera, if uh, Andrea is going out tonight, mm -hmm. does she actually step it up with the makeup, or she's good to go even with this look? You reckon? Yeah, it depends what she's gonna wear. Mm -hmm. um, just change lipstick. Yeah, just change. Maybe doing like a more stronger, like mm. more pop up, orange. like uh, orange kind of. Okay. Orange is a contrast to blue. Yep. So she can do like. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Okay, so in a minute guys, we'll come back to you and we'll unveil Andrea's total look and we'll be back. So Andrea, how are you going girl? I'm good, I'm just enjoying my makeup and satisfied with it. You look fantastic. You know what? You don't look very much different. You know, with some people, they look very different with and without makeup. You don't look very much different. It's just that, you know, a lot of your beautiful features have been brought to life. <laughs> and that's great, isn't it? How would you like to describe your experience with us today? Well, it's a great experience. It's an honor and pleasure to be here. And thank you for the invitation as one of your guests for today's episode and I'm really blessed to have you here. I talk to be here. Oh, you know what, Andrea? I feel exactly the same. Thank you so much to be a guest star on my show, The Glam Life. Once again, I'm Alexander Montgomery, and this is The Glam Life brought to you exclusively by Aussie Star Channel.